Well, it's just 100 days until the cricketing world again converges around this magnificent Coliseum, the MCG. For the Women's World Cup, the T20 World Cup, a change of name. It was the World T20, now it's the T20 World Cup. It doesn't matter. It's happening here in February and March of 2020, culminating on International Women's Day on the 8th of March. And this bold objective to fill the MCG, to break world records and have more than 90,000 people in the ground has been added to considerably overnight with the news that Katy Perry, the biggest superstar on the planet, well certainly as far as Instagram followers and Twitter followers are concerned, will be appearing. She'll be playing before the game and after the game. It's going to be a magnificent spectacle here at Melbourne, complemented I have no doubt by some magnificent cricket if what we've seen in recent tournaments is anything to go by. Women's Crick Zone this morning at the 100 Days launch caught up with some of the, the biggest names in the global game to discuss what it will mean to them if they can pack out this ground and how cool it is to have Katy Perry on board as well. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, Katy Perry's got such a, a big audience and it's really exciting to have her on board and, and hopefully we can pack the, the G out for the final. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I think it's, it's going to be very loud if we pack it out and I think um, it'll be pretty, pretty hard to hear anything out on the ground, but I think just the, the whole vibe around, around the game, it will be awesome. Yeah, I mean, that'd just be a bonus. I think uh, just getting that many people along to a game is, is incredible and I think it's, it's going to do wonders for the women's game. I mean, it's always special having a T20 World Cup uh, under the belt, but I think uh, anything can happen in World Cups, especially in T20 cricket. So uh, we kind of park that one and, and, and look forward to the next one. Yeah, I think I came into the game at a, at a really good time and I think um, being exposed to uh, the professional game quite, quite young, I think that helped me uh, get ready for, I guess, international cricket. And I think uh, the WBBL has been instrumental in, in doing that. And I think, um, it's, yeah, it's, just, it's a really good, really good tournament. And I think, uh, yeah, it's put me in really good stead. <laughs> yeah, look, we've, we've won a few games in the, the last four. We've also lost a few, but um, yeah, I think once, once we've got a few wins under our belt from those close ones, it becomes easier to keep winning them. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool that uh, an artist like Katy Perry's uh, agreed to sign in to uh, the Women's World Cup. But I guess that shows how kind of women's cricket is really taking off at the moment and, and someone like that wants to be involved in it. Yeah, it'd be amazing, wouldn't it? I mean, playing in front of 26,000 at Lords in that, in that World Cup final was absolutely incredible. I could barely hear myself think. So if they get 90,000 here, I can't even imagine how it's going to feel. It's amazing, isn't it, that, you know, in the space of a decade, it's going to change like that. And um, that's kind of exciting, for, I think, for us as players that, you know, you know, I used to play in front of, you know, your parents and your dog back in the day. So it's amazing that, you know, people actually want to come and watch it and that it's a good enough product that people actually are really involved and really keen to push it forward and have these kind of conversations. Yeah, I mean, it's great to kind of get out here and, and play some cricket, make some new friends, you know. I'm going to be playing against them in the World Cup, but um, the girls that are here today are certainly are good friends now. But, um, yeah, it's great for your for your development, kind of experiencing new environments, different pitches, different, um, different you know, ways of going about things. And, yeah, it's nice to kind of get away from the England environment a little bit and um, test yourself in a big bash at the moment um, after, obviously, a bit of a difficult ashes, but get yourself back out there in com uh, competitive cricket and, and put it behind you quite quickly. Yeah, Elisa's a great coach. Um, she was one of the, obviously she was meant to be doing the London Spirit job, which was a big reason why I wanted to kind of get down there to work with her again. So uh, even better for me that she's now taking on the England job. And yeah, she's a great, great coach, great to have around, um, real caring person as well as quite a tough coach. So I think that's kind of what we need at the moment. And it's really exciting to see uh, where she can take us. Uh, yeah, look, we haven't got a great record as of late, but that's certainly the motivation that we're using at the moment to try and get ourselves back into that sort of arena where we're competing for these titles. Yeah, we have talked about it a lot, obviously, the last um, couple of either World Cups or World T20s, we've sort of not even made the semi-finals, so um, it's something that as a team we've sat back and, and had a good think about and a good talk about, and uh, hopefully we can uh, right those wrongs coming into March 8th. Yeah, I think it's massive, especially with a, a big tournament being here in Australia, obviously being over here and getting used to the conditions as much as we can and sort of making use of the time to be training out on grass when uh, we can't necessarily do that at home either. Yeah, to be honest, I hadn't until we uh, turned up today and you sort of see the stadium again and you look around and the, th the thought of having sort of 90 plus thousand people filling it would be quite an amazing atmosphere to play in front of.